All right now we're gonna after we've tried all of these things we're going to abandon this file for a little bit and create a new one so that we can start from scratch and see other things that we can do and the ones that we've done are not in the way and let, this time instead of having boxes I would ask you to create a little text and we'll make it an ABC just because I can't think of anything else right now and if you want it to look like mine um, mine is a the font is impact and the size I'll put it at a hundred and the color is um, somewhat dark blue and uh, now that we have that text um, for this exercise I'd like you to go ahead and break that and control B is to break so you have to select your objects and hit control B twice and once it's still, still selected we're gonna hit F8 to convert that to a symbol it's just for this exercise you can actually apply motion twins to text but for this exercise, I'd like you to use it as a symbol. And make sure it's a movie clip. And the registration is top left. And the symbol, we'll just call it ABCMC. Okay, so ABC movie clip. Can I hit OK? And here's our symbol. It's in the library. We still have our motion presets ready here to go because we're going to be using that soon. We have our motion editor ready to go. We're going to be using it right now. Uh, let's go ahead and create a motion twin. If you remember, all you need to do is right click on your object on the symbol and say create motion twin. Immediately you will see that there is a span of 24 frames here because we're 24 frames per second. And motion editor, you will see a lot going on in there. So we'll actually open up that window a little bit more. So let's go ahead and move it. Um, if I'm on frame 1 here, that's the initial position. And on frame 24 will be where it ends up being after uh, the animation happened. And then it's going to slide. And we've tried that in the last, um, last exercise. Now we're going to expand on that. So in Motion Editor, there are things that I want you to explore and nodes are called ease and remember we've done a little exercise where we um, made an ease in and ease out for shapes to travel at different speeds you guys remember that so we're gonna kind of use that but it's gonna be a little bit more advanced here so right now if you hit enter it just goes at one constant speed okay and you can edit the path if you want you might want to make it a little bit longer Okay, it travels a little bit faster now. And then go back to Motion Editor and go into the bottom section here where it says Eases. And there's a little plus here. We're going to add the Ease to the selection and then apply it at one of these here. Now, the Ease is um, already there is a simple slow Ease right here available, but the rest of them are not. If we're moving only on the X right now, so that would be the only point of interest is to put it uh, the ease on the X right here, slow. And right now you won't see any difference because we haven't told um, the ease or how much we wanted to apply. Uh, right now it's set at zero. We're gonna put the value at a hundred, and as you put the value at a hundred, you will notice the line on the X changed and the dash line is your new path of the ease and now it slows down at the end a nice little motion for stuff for user interfaces for stuff online right much better than the one we just had where just um, too machine like but wait there's more we can do so much more with eases here we're gonna close this one 
go into eases and add the ease and then apply it. So we're going to go add bounce in. Bounce in, it's set at 4, leave it at 4 for now. Okay? And the X, instead of the selection here, simple slow, we're going to go bounce in. See how we have that available now at the drop down? That's because we added it here at the bottom. Select that and look at your timeline, and you will see a totally different dash line, and that's how it's going to look like. It actually bounces. Cool little movement. If you hit Control Enter, it will keep doing that because it loops right on the main timeline. So that's a different portion of the lecture. We'll we'll fix that later. But right now, I'm interested just in the motion that it's doing, and it's quite interesting how it goes and bounces. I can change that to anything else that I want. I can go back to eases here and add another one. And let's say I want um, to go stop and start the fastest that they have. And I'll go ahead to the X here and apply that. And that's going to be a different one, different curve. And that's another interesting move. So try these out. So after you tried all of these, let's say you create your own ease, and um, you add uh, your own preset, and you 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 have this going on, and then we're gonna go ahead and add color effects to that, and color effects you can add, let's say tint or alpha or brightness or advanced color. We'll talk about that a little bit later, but let's say we'll add alpha. Alpha is a transparency. And in the beginning frame, when you put it on the very front of your animation of frame one, put it to zero. And at the very end, put it to a hundred. And try your animation, and you will see how it fades in at the same time with the nice ease motion that we're having. Okay, so that is a little bit more interesting, right? Now, you want to save that preset, for example, because you want to use that on other projects. Uh, you're going to go into motion presets, and if you don't see it on your screen, window, motion presets right there, and you're going to go and select your shape or the, the item that you have, and you're going to click here, save selection as preset. So whatever twin is attached to that symbol is going to get saved as preset. So click that button, enter the name, my cool twin, whatever you want to name it, right? And then hit OK, and you will say, you will see that in here. Now you can go back to the shape that we had previously, or can create a new one whatever you want. If you don't have that one, just create a new one. New document, and hit OK, and make a new little shape, like so. Select it, and watch this. It's just a shape. I haven't even converted it to a movie clip yet. I'm going to hit the select the twin that I just uh, preset, and hit Apply. It's going to say, hey, this cannot be twin because it's not a symbol. But would you like me to convert it to a symbol? You say, yeah, great, thanks, do the work for me. Hit OK. And watch that. Now that has the same exact motion as the little ABC we just had. Do you see how you, once you worked on it and you perfected the twin, you can apply it to anything else you want? But wait, there's more. One more minute of your time. See these bouncing 3D and all of those? You have a little preview window there. Click on this flying blur left or bounce whatever, uh, bounce in 3D, all right? And select your shape and hit apply. It will say, hey, I can't apply two twins, so I'm going to choose the second one now and apply it, so I'm going to actually um, re replace it. And you're going to say, yeah, that's what I want. And in case that your twin is off the page like that, you can actually click on the line 
and move that in place and you just applied an existing preset to it which you can modify and make your own new preset so that's pretty neat to know that and that's a lot of power and a lot of fun and uh, we'll work with that more in the next lecture okay